Hey everybody, Michael Collins here again from EnviroReporter.com on March 31st, 2012. We have a heavy fog, very misty fog here in uh, the Los Angeles Basin uh, off of the Santa Monica Bay where there's very choppy water uh, and a light mist has been falling. So we've gone and taken a background here in Radiation Central, uh, Radiation Station Central in Santa Monica. The background is 34.8 counts per minute. So let's just see what we got in our uh, sample right there. Certainly more than background. Double background. You know that uh, from our reporting that anything over triple background is a hazmat level for the California Highway Patrol. Anything over 100 counts per minute is pretty much uh, where people start going, uh-oh. You can see that we're about four times background. It topped out right there. And uh, 124, 140, 152. 158, 164, 166, 168, 168, about that. She's pretty active. Topped out at 168. Now, what's causing this? Uh, if you've read Beta Watch, if you've read The Endless Bummer, you know what it is. Uh, clearly, uh, radiation is in the Pacific untold amounts of radiation in the Pacific. It has traveled very fast across the Pacific and we're just getting a taste of it in the form of buckyballs. Uh, we also have a report out about iodine-131 being found in kelp off of Southern California just one month after Fukushima. If this report is true, and I do have questions about this report, and I've submitted those questions to the author, if this is true, then um, it just goes to show how fast radionuclides can get across the ocean. They can get up in the sea mist, they can evaporate, uh, they're certainly launched into the atmosphere at Fukushima Daiichi, and uh, you can see how fast they get over here. Now, what you're looking at is just a rain sample. It is uh, not impacted by a radon progeny, uh, a uh, sort of a bugaboo uh, that uh, 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 pro-nuke types who like to attack folks at, uh, testing for radiation like to say, oh no, that's natural, that's from radon. It is not. There is no radon in this area. This is all in the moisture from the air. So we've got over four times background. This might be the hottest rain that we've ever had in Los Angeles. It's one day before April Fool's Day, but this is no April Fool's joke. Now, when you're looking at this and you're going, well, what is it then in that sample? What is the isotope? Well, the fact is, if you've been listening to me on the radio, or if you've come to uh, EnviroReporter.com, you'll know very well what we need is an isotopic identifier. And that will tell us exactly what is in this rain in Los Angeles that's making it hot. And uh, will it force the government to do anything? From my experience with the government, no. 
uh, however, the fact that we, we have, for over a year now, been telling you what radiation readings are here in Southern California, across four states, miles above the earth and jets, we do tell you. So, do you want to be part of this? Do you want to uh, sit back and worry and uh, not do anything? Or do you want to join us and help us get this equipment? It is not cheap. But the fact is, there's a lot of us, but there's only one of me. And I'm the one who's going to run this thing, and I know how to do it. So I want you to come over to EnviroReporter.com and donate to our ISO topic identifier fund. You can't miss it. We've got uh, donations of a thousand, seven hundred fifty bucks, ten bucks, five bucks. Every person who gives will know that they're part of defending this country against radiation with forming a defense of technology and good science that our government isn't giving us. We have friends in Canada. We have friends in the United Kingdom. We have friends all over the world that are contributing to this fund. You need to as well. So, check this uh, 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 new fund out. But know this. This here rain in Los Angeles one day before April Fool's Day, it's hot. It's over hazmat level level, according to the California Highway Patrol. It's over three times background. It's still over three times background here. And yet, I mean, markedly so. It's over four times back around. This, I'm going to uh, take a leap and say that this is the hottest mist we've had so far. And it's a light rain. And so, well, how could this be? Why, why is it getting hotter when Fukushima's over a year ago? Don't forget, folks, the longer a nuclear disaster goes on, the worse it gets. There are 10 reactors worth of fuel rods impacted by the Fukushima Daiichi disaster. Three cores of nuclear reactors have melted down totally. And we have seven nuclear reactors worth of spent fuel rods, which are far more radioactive than rods in a reactor, ready to tip over in Unit 4, crash to the ground, and begin fissioning, and there is no way to stop it. Now, where do you think that radiation's going to go? Well, it's going to go all over Japan, but it's coming our way, too, and this shows you that it is. So I want you to take the kind of precautions that we take. Stay out of this mist. Stay out of this rain. Keep your houses clean. Use HEPA filters. Keep your floors clean. Take your shoes off before you come into the house. Use filtered water. Know what's in your food before you eat it or serve it to your kids and loved ones. And, of course, come back to EnviroReporter.com often where you get real hot news all the time. Straightforward and accurate. Now, we're getting this going up again. Topped out at 168. We're making a run for it. 142. 148. 160. Can it be 168? This is a 30-second average. Changes every three seconds. The Inspector Alert Nuclear Radiation Monitor is one of the very best in the business. You get a setup like this, you're going to be talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I know a lot of people can't afford that. They certainly can't afford the tens of thousands of dollars in isotopic identifier costs. So I want you to help us be able to get that. Michael Collins, EnviroReporter.com, March 31st, 2012. Your air is hot, Los Angeles. Hot with hot rain.